Exhalate OP550-560. Polyurethanes foams are used in many upholstery and cushioning applications. You find flexible polyurethane foams, for example, in sofas, armchairs, mattresses and car seats. In addition, rigid polyurethane foams are used for building insulation purposes. In Europe, more than 3 million tonnes of polyurethane are consumed every year. Excellent OP550 and 560 phosphorus polyols are flame retardants that were specifically designed for polyurethane foams like this one here. You find them, for example, in car seats, in upholstered furniture like sofas and armchairs. Without flame retardants, these materials are easily ignited even by a small flame. This is what is left after a burning test of an unprotected foam sample. Polyurethane foams are made by mixing two components which react with each other and creates the foam structure. One component is the so-called polyol, which also contains various additives such as catalysts, stabilizers and flame retardants. The other component is an isocyanate. The two ingredients react spontaneously and very quickly with each other. Clarion's Exolit OP550 and OP560 flame retardants are non-halogenated phosphorus-based polyols, which react fully into the polyurethane matrix exactly in the same way as the main polyol component. Therefore, the flame retardants cannot migrate or evaporate out of the foam later. The small foam samples created with this lab-scale method can be used for the development and optimization of flame retardant formulations. In the industrial production, the components are stored in large bulk storage tanks. The components are brought together in mixing heads and the reactant mass extruded onto paper liners, where it immediately builds up the foam and long slabs of up to 60 meters are formed. Later, they are cut to the pieces and sizes needed. A common test for the flammability of flexible polyurethane foams is the FMVSS302 test, the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 302. This test has become the benchmark test in the automotive sector and is also used as screening tests for development work. With the horizontal sample orientation and small ignition flame, it is not very demanding on materials. However, unprotected polyurethane foam will fail the test and flame retardants are required to ensure a minimum safety level for these materials. Without flame retardants, the material burns steadily and fails the test. A more demanding test specifically for building materials is the German DIN 4102B2 test with a vertical sample orientation. Here you see a flame retarded rigid polyurethane foam which passes the test because the flame does not propagate on the material. The different behavior of the non-protected foam is obvious. It's burned vigorously all the way up to top of the specimen and often even completely consuming the specimen. Polyurethane foams have become ubiquitous all around us because they offer comfort and well-being in addition to excellent insulation properties. However, because polyurethanes are highly flammable in many instances, they need to be protected against ignition and accidental fires. Clarion's halogen-free, state-of-the-art Exolit OP550 and OP560 flame retardants offer a unique way of combining fire safety and a good environmental and health profile. In 2014, the United States Environmental Protection Agency has even recognized Exolit OP560 as the best-in-class flame retardants for polyurethane foams when they studied the possible alternatives to much-criticized brominated flame retardants.